math tune-up with Mr. Payne. Here we're going to review calculating the length of a side in a right triangle using the tan ratio. The triangle I have here, ABC, has an angle 22 degrees at A, has an unknown side X and a base of 7 centimeters. Since I have an opposite side and an adjacent, adjacent side to the angle, that means I'm going to use the tan ratio. So I'm going to set up an expression here, and I'm going to say tan 22 degrees equals x over 7, because x is my opposite side and 7 is my adjacent side with reference to 22 degrees. I'd like to get rid of this 7 on the bottom. So to get rid of a 7 in your denominator, you multiply both sides by 7. Now, I keep the tan and the 22 together because that is one number. You can never separate a ratio expression from the angle that it's referring to. If you look at the right side, if I've got a 7 on top and a 7 on the bottom, they cancel out. So I'm left with 7 tan 22 equals x. If I plug 22 into my calculator to get the tan ratio, I'm going to get 7 times 0. 4040. Zero, zero. That's a rounded version of the tangent of 22, which is equal to x. If I multiply those out, I now get x is approximately equal to 2.8 centimeters. I'm going to make an approximation because this number here was rounded, so this answer is also going to be an approximation. Let's do an example where your number, where the unknown, is on the bottom. So here I have another triangle. I'm going to have y, 35 degrees, and 5 meters. Now, in this case, I can still use tangent because, my, with reference to 35 degrees, my opposite side is 5, my adjacent side is y. So I'll set up the relationship. Tan 35 degrees equals 5 over y. And I put the y in the bottom because the y is the adjacent side. I put the 5 on the top because the 5 is the opposite side. So, just like we did in the previous example, to get rid of what's on the bottom, I multiply both sides by that value. So, I'm going to multiply this by y, and I'll multiply that by y. These guys cancel out because it's a top and bottom, so I'm left with y tan 35 equals 5. I need to get y alone. To get y alone, I'm going to divide both sides by tan 35. So tan 35 divided by tan 35, they go away, and I'm left with y equals 5 over tan 35. Now, if I plug tan of 35 into my calculator, I'm going to get 5 divided by 0 0.7002. 0 0.7002 is the rounded value for the tangent of 35 degrees. So now if I divide 5 by 0 0.702, I'm going to get 7.1 meters. It's going to be an approximate equal to because this is a round value, so this is an approximation. Please revisit this lesson as you feel the need.